fondest memory of your Uncle Ted? Um, his hugs. gathering he would be telling a story and the room would get real quiet everyone would find their way to the room when he was telling a story Thank you. 
longer with us, it's our turn to tell the stories. Uncle Ted, this is for you. There were a lot of things that I loved and appreciated about my brother, uh, but his attitude has to be at the top of the list. It didn't matter uh, what was going on in his life or how bad he was feeling physically or emotionally or how down and out he was. Um, he always remained upbeat and positive. Um, he remained that way. He was just a very positive person and he never complained. He, he wasn't a complainer. Um, and, and if there was something bothering me, um, all I had to do was call Ted. And he would ease my mind, ease my worries, and he had a way of make, making me see the positive and um, just helping me to get through it and to feel better about everything. He, he always, always helped me to feel better about everything. Um, also, Ted uh, could make me laugh. Um, I thought he could be extremely unintentionally funny at times. And um, his expressions and comments and reactions to certain events or situations could at times leave me breathless with laughter. Um, he, he could be a really funny guy and not really meaning to be. He was just being himself, but he could really be funny. Um, and, you know, I knew Ted for 60 years, so um, I became very familiar with all of his, all of his little nervous tics and um, funny little habits that he had. Um, and I could tell if something was bothering him because the tics would become more intense, the eye twitching and the uh, spitting when he was talking and throwing his ring up or his a ball up in the air just constantly. He was constantly doing something like that. And so he was, it was easy for me to read him. Um, he, he was a great guy and I so appreciated all of his virtues as well as all his funny quirks. I met Ted late in life. I uh, knew Ted for 10 to 12 years, but uh, I knew the name Ted May from back in the day when he was rewriting all the baseball records of high school and college levels in this area. But 
getting to know Ted was a great highlight of my life. I grew to appreciate Ted. I spent a lot of time with him in the short, well, I say short, the decade I knew him. Uh, sat and talked with him quite often. Heard a lot of his baseball stories about uh, the exploits both on and off the field. And by the way, Ted was a great storyteller. Uh, not only was he a great storyteller, Ted, but Ted was a great person. Uh, like I say, I really grew fond of him. Uh, and Ted, well, I grew to think more of, it, of Ted as my brother instead of my brother-in-law. My fondest memory of Ted would be when Ted and April came to Hawaii and uh, we went to the North Shore and Ted was determined to catch a wave, to dive into a wave. So uh, we were standing there and uh, he seen a wave coming and he, uh, this was it. This was gonna be his wave. He was gonna dive in this wave and he was gonna ride it. So he starts running down to the shore and um, he, he, he was getting ready to dive. And he started diving, thinking he was gonna dive into the wave. And instead, he dove into the sand and got up and had sand all over his face. And then all of a sudden the wave comes. So he was, he, uh, he beat the wave. Um, Anyway, that's one of my fondest memories of Ted. I have a lot of them, but um, he is truly, truly missed. We love and miss him very, very much. Um, I will never forget and I will always remember. So here's to you, Ted. I love you and I will see you again. I gotta make this two minutes. I've been eight minutes and five minutes. And so uh, I guess the bottom line is, is that uh, we really miss Ted. We really miss you. Um, uh, I've known Ted for almost 40 years. Um, he's absolutely wonderful. He's all heart and he cares about everybody. Um, he was, um, he cared about himself last. He looked at everybody as, making sure everything's okay with everybody else and then him last. And um, that's what I recognize uh, Ted the most is that he was uh, just very caring and wanted to make sure everybody else was, was happy and good. And um, as far as his, his kids, uh, he would do anything and everything for his kids. Um, we loved you guys so very much, and um, I guess some of the things that I can remember is we worked together, we had companies together, we succeeded together, we failed together. Um, but one thing we can both say is that uh, any opportunity that came our way, we jumped on it. We tried to do everything we could uh, to make something happen. Most of the times it didn't but we're glad we at least tried. And I think that's gonna be some of the um, wisdom that I would bestow on his family and his kids, and that is uh, opportunities are gonna come very few and far between, and when you get one, jump on it. You know, I don't want you to regret it, and I don't want you to say, I wish I, I should I coulda, just gotta do it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but at least you tried, whether it be education or job or sports or anything, just give it everything you got and go with the opportunities that come your way. And that's what Ted would say. And uh, I gotta get this off, uh, but uh, we love you, Ted, we miss you. And uh, I truly can say that you are definitely a brother to me. And. Um, I miss you dearly. Um, thank you. Bye. I, my most favorite memory of Ted definitely is when he would say, hey there, hey Robbie. That's what he always called me. And growing up, I was always considered little Ted, which I really love that. And I still like it to this day because he's always been my hero. Um, 
And probably the most thing I remember about him is his positivity. He was always positive. He would call me before a track meet or something and, and get me all pumped up and tell me to be positive, get aggressive. Um, he always saw the glass as half full. And um, that's what I still remember about him. What do I remember about Ted? Uh, first of all, when I first met Ted, I looked at him and I'm thinking, this guy must spend a lot of time in the gym because he's ripped. And then I find out he doesn't work out at all. This is the kind of guy who can walk by a gym and gain muscle size. So yes, I was jealous. And secondly, you don't want to play catch with a guy because you about throw, you throw a ball about to take your hand off. That's one thing I remember about Ted. Secondly, the fact that he was a deep thinker. We'd sit and talk, enjoyed having conversations uh, with Ted. Um, Ted was always very optimistic. He always had kind things to say about people. Also, Ted was very much a family man. He was very much in the family, even extended family. Um, Ted enjoyed sports, and Ted was just an all-around good guy. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm Ted's cousin. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, Great American Ballpark. I'm here today to pay a small tribute to my cousin Ted. I came here years ago to watch my cousin Ted win a national pitch hit throw contest. From that point on, Ted was always my hero in baseball. Ted eventually went on to play for the Chicago Cubs and had a great career in baseball. Ted, we miss you and happy birthday. I do have an, an all-time favorite memory and that was when Uncle Ted surprised Mom uh, for her 60th birthday party. We had it all planned out. Um, we had it all set up that he, you know, uh, had to work that day, we told her, and she, you know, graciously um, understood and said, oh, that's okay, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. We'll celebrate, an, you know, later. I totally understand. <laughs> and so, um, we were just giddy with excitement. That was her first surprise that day, uh, for, you know, for a series of surprises. And um, when he opened those doors and, and came out and, and surprised her when she thought that he wasn't gonna be able to be there, um, it was just a moment that I will never forget. You know, she was just so shocked and elated and happy and joyful that, that he was there. Um, you could tell it meant so much to her, and he was giddy and excited and so joyful that, that he was able to surprise her. You know, it was fun, and just to experience that moment, to witness that moment, it was honestly one of the most beautiful moments that I've ever witnessed in my life, and I'm, I'm so grateful for that moment and um, for that memory with him. Hey, hey. Oh my, oh my oh god! god. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> I have a special memory I'd like to share with you with Uncle Ted. It was about 25 years ago when we were all living in Raleigh, North Carolina. And it was a hot summer day. We wanted to just go over to their house like we always did and surprise them. Well, we found out they were in their backyard and we were walking back there and mom saw a hose that wasn't being used. So she turned it on and we went around the corner and said, surprise and started spraying Uncle Ted and family. And he kept saying, Myra, Myra, stop. But he was actually a trooper and joined in on the fun. And so did the rest of the family. And we were all running around the front yard and backyard, just laughing. We were drenched. It was so funny, but that's a memory I'm going to cherish forever. What I'm going to miss most about my Uncle Ted is 
not only his big huge bear hugs which were just felt like home not only his big smile and contagious laugh and not only his storytelling which was the best um, but I'm going to miss his amazing heart he had the sweetest heart and you could just tell when having a conversation with him he had the best intentions for everyone and everything and just being in the same room with him felt so uplifting it was like just so fun and like a breath of fresh air when i think of ted you know to me he was he was a legend, you know, everyone growing up talking, talking about, you know, his baseball career and telling all the stories and everything that he accomplished and, and, um, and how great he was, you know, he was someone that I always looked up to and, um, you know, during sports and just, you know, during different events in my life and, um, to me, he was almost larger than life. My name's Donnie Lewis. Ted May is my uncle, Uncle Ted. Um, you know, one of my favorite memories growing up was throwing the ball to him. I had an issue with my curveball, and he would crouch down in the catcher's stance and practice with me for hours if need be. Um, I was blessed to grow up in the same city as him, um, get to see my cousins. Um, you know, he's just a, a loving man who always put other people before him. He one of the most caring people I've ever known. Um, is always there for you and just a personal hero of mine. And we love you, Uncle Ted, and we miss you. I didn't know Ted that well, but whenever he saw me, he always said, hi, big guy. One of the memories that I had with Uncle Ted, and it starts off at Ona and Pappy's house, and my mom really laughed, re like she laughed really hard about it. And so we were at Ona and Pappy's house and I had my American girl, Kaya, and I put her beside him and then he fell asleep with her and my mom was like cracking up. And- Was he on the couch? Mm-hmm. He was on the couch. And that is one of the funny memories that I remember about him. Hey, my favorite thing about Ted May was uh, his intensity and his confidence. Man, when he stepped to the plate, uh, he had all the confidence in the world. I, I can remember having to pitch against him, and I won some battles, and he won some battles. And even when I won, he left the plate, and he'd look at me, and, and he knew that he was coming back again, and, and that he'd come back around. It'd be his turn. Ted was always fun. He was a joy to be around. He uh, he added a dimension to our teams and that that nobody else could bring to the game. He was always a hard worker at, at baseball, and uh, we appreciated him as a teammate. Uh, we worked hard against him as an opponent. Uh, he was a definite force as an opponent. And I always look forward to playing with him and I always look forward to playing against him. My name is Joe Waddell. I met Ted in high school. I'd heard of Ted long before we ever met. We'd all heard the legends of Ted Will Williams May. So when we did meet, I was very surprised. I was expecting a cocky guy and instead, I met Ted, who was very nice to everybody and treated everybody well. While Ted was very, very confident in his athletic abilities, he never translated that into being cocky in life. He was a great cheerleader for his friends. He would cheer us on in our own endeavors and encourage us to do work hard and do our best just as he was in baseball and football. I can't imagine a more calm, easy to be around, pleasant person than Ted. I always looked forward to see him, seeing him in later life and was always happy when I did. 
I know that he will be greatly missed. Special person is going to be doing some reading, uh, so we're going to welcome up at this time Greg White. So Greg, if you're here, if you want to come on up, we'll let him do that. He made us all guess a secret ingredient in some cookies and finally told us that it was a type of nut and we guessed every single type of nut for 10 minutes straight and finally he told us it was coconut. Classics are um, hashtag coconut. All playing Pictionary and it was his turn and he just wrote the word that he was supposed to draw a picture of, math. Hashtag math. Um, which was a hilarious um, Pictionary We're moment. Just standing in the kitchen at mom's house and Ada comes into the kitchen and she's like two years old and she gets so scared by him that she <laughs> backs up and runs into the wall trying to run away and Uncle Ted was just standing there. Um, that he had a tick on his shorts and asked me to get it off for him <laughs> at our pool, at our old house. being at Uncle Ted's house in Chattanooga, probably spending the night with Tiffany and they were doing this fun emerald dinner where he was pretending to be emerald and they were videotaping it and he would put the ingredients in the pan and go bam the like way emerald. that he um used to say the word high school it was always high school <laughs> which still cracks me up i mean i could listen to that on repeat so somebody get me a tape of that so i can listen to it when i'm sad 
Tschüss. <lacht>